This is Black Views, bringing you the Black News. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I want to give a shout out to my FBA family. And I also want to say stay strong. Today, we're going to talk about a young Black woman who was found dead, found hanging, actually, partially nude in Orlando, Florida, and her name was Yona Lubrin. Today, I've put together a compilation of videos, a couple of reports that's going to help explain what exactly may have happened to Yona Lubrin. Yona was also known as Yo-Yo, had passed away in Orlando, and was found hanging from a tree on West Moreland Drive and Livingston Street. The circumstances surrounding her passing are unknown. So right now, there's just there's really no information. Although the authorities have ruled it a suicide. So they were able to rule it a suicide without actually doing any type of investigation, which is common for, uh, you know, um, these type of crimes involving black people where they have been hung um, right immediately. Um, there's really no type of investigation and then they'll just rule it a suicide as if the young lady was strong enough to put herself in in whatever uh because they don't show pictures they don't really give details this is what the police do um you normally it's a way to suppress information so we would never know the facts they try to hold it as long as possible and this is what we have witnessed um they believe finding any black person hanging in a tree in 2023 requires more investigation matter what especially in this case because there's there are too many unanswered questions and not enough proof okay so this is basically all we have and they're saying at 6 30 on tuesday october 3rd people will be gathered at a city hall to show support for the family okay so i'm going to go ahead and uh, show you uh, these are uh, a couple of reports that I have here from other YouTubers that will help you better understand. Stand by. I'm going to need y'all to stop what y'all doing, and I'm going to need y'all to make this video go viral. I'm going to need y'all to like, share, comment, tag other people. I need y'all to watch this video all the way through, and here's why. Now, I'm sure most of you have not heard about this video as they are trying to do their best job to ensure that this video never sees the light of a day. But a black woman was just found hung from a tree. It says right there, woman in Orlando found hanging from a tree. And get this, there's not even been a thorough investigation. It hasn't even been 24 hours. And they're already, they're already claiming that this was a self-inflicted unaliving. Now this black woman that was found hung from a tree. Hold on, let me, let me retract that. Let me start that over. This black woman who was found partially nude hanging from this tree. His name is Yona Lubrin. And currently their family is asking for y'all's help as they say they know different that there's no way that Yona could have done this to herself. I mean, let me ask y'all because right now it really is, it's, it's not making no sense. I mean, they find a black woman hanging from a tree partially nude and in less than 24 hours of not doing a thorough investigation they deem it a self-inflicted unaliving and you would have thought that finding her vehicle less than a few blocks away being burglarized and vandalized along with all the gasoline poured on it would have been evidence enough to say that this was not something that was self-inflicted now here's how we can help because this story definitely needs the publicity and it needs the media attention. So besides just making this video go viral, for those that are in the Orlando area, the family is asking that everyone gather at City Hall on October 3rd at 6.30. Now seeing as there's barely information being able to be found on Google or anything like that, I've also tagged a couple creators that are gonna be best served to give you more information as they are in the close vicinity right here and right now. I say again, this situation does not need to go unheard. We need to get all the publicity, media attention that we can possibly get in order to get her family justice and get her family answers. Until next time, I ask that you take care of yourselves and your loved ones. My thoughts and prayers go out to the family, friends, and all those affected in this tragedy. As always, I'll be singing peace to 
you. Yesterday, Yona Lubrin, she's also known as Yo-Yo. She was found hanging from a tree in Orlando, Florida, near Westmoreland Drive and Livingston Street. And the way that she was found and the state that she was left in has her family with a lot of unanswered questions to law enforcement. Because law enforcement, they are immediately trying to rule it as a suicide. Time. You know, look, check this out. Finding any person that looks like this right here, hanging from a tree in 2023, requires a lot more investigation no matter what. Why do I say that? Because you have suspects like this right here, down there right now. You hear that? That's where your investigation needs to start. With this. Your investigation needs to start right here. With these people. Orlando Police Department. There's too many questions, especially in this case here. Because people that looks like this are not doing that. They're not hanging themselves from no tree. And you know what the problem is. You just don't want to confront it. This is not the first time, right? This is not the first, look, this happened in Orlando just in 2020. And the same questions are being asked. The same questions are being asked, just like it was asked with Neven Baker, who was found hanging in a tree in a very suspicious way, just to be considered a suicide. Justice is needed. We need the, we need the uh, FBI down there to investigate this because it's being covered up. Too much stuff is being covered up. And look, this is a call to action. The family is meeting October the 3rd in front of the city hall at 6.30 on uh, Tuesday. At 6.30, the family's being, everybody is welcome down there. This is going to be a peaceful gathering for the family. They just need the numbers. Okay, so you saw both of the YouTubers there. They had a lot to say about this particular case. Once again, this particular case, um, they, they suppress all the information. You can't see how the body was hung. You don't get to see anything, no real investigate. Um, the police department is used as suppression for information. So you, the average citizen, will not be able to see and come to your own conclusion. They're going to tell you that this was a suicide. So you, you brothers and sisters out here that may not know, white supremacy is deep in Florida. The governor seems to be of aid to these factions. Um, they work coincide. They may not connect, but they work parallel. You know, uh, the race soldiers, the police, who are the same as the Order of the Black Sun. These are people that are police by day, and by night, they're Nazi members. And I'm not saying all police officers are Nazi members, but you you seem to kind of tell the difference who the ones that are and who the ones that may not be. White supremacy in this country is at an all time high. And black people need to, need to take heed to this. Do not get yourself caught in a situation where you are by yourself where there's no witnesses, where no one can see you. As a black man, I would say that we are in a state of emergency and we have been for quite some time. Our young people are constantly hunted down. Our young people are constantly shot. Our young people are constantly treated like adults when they're merely children. Please make this video go viral. Our black people need to know that there is a threat, a real threat that is out here. And the only recommendations that I have for black families are to have your legal gun license and to practice. That's all I can say. Have your legal gun license and to practice. Because pretty soon, Shit is going haywire. 
You already see what they're doing with the immigrants. You already see what's going on in our streets with our children. And you already see that our government could care less. It's, they're, they're preparing right now as we speak another package to go to Ukraine. We must work together. We must find a way to get on code. We have to get on code and understand. And today I would say, do not go to carryouts today. And tomorrow, buy no hair in your neighborhood. This is a sad situation because these are people that may not even be aware of what's happening around them. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. If you have a comment, please comment. If you like, please also like. This is Black Views, bringing you the Black News.